Hey guys, once again, it's Celine Monique. So today we are going to be talking all about what to do when manifesting gets tough and you are just having so many doubts. What do you do? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Slim Monique's Manifesting Bubble. We are going to be talking all about what to do when you have those doubts and you have fears about your manifestation. Now, I've spoken with you guys before about this. Let's just recap. Okay, so you put out into the universe that you want something. Let's say that you are looking to find your specific person or you are wanting a new house or a new car or a new career. Maybe you just want people to be nice to you and you want to be happier about yourself and more self-confident. Well, first thing that you do is that you make the intention, okay? Make an intention that you're going to receive what it is that you truly want. So let's go to specific person, for example. Let's say that you have been single for a while and maybe you've had not so good relationships in the past and now you're ready to have the real thing. You're ready for the marriage, the house and the carriage and everything else. What do you do first? You manifest it. You visualize that perfect person. Now this may require you scripting and writing down exactly what it is you want to have. And you know, maybe this person, you want them to be a certain height or a certain, um, a certain size or a certain, um, you want their hair to be a certain color. Those are just outward appearances, but you want to dig even deeper. Maybe you want somebody who loves to text you all the time or someone who is always thinking of you first, whatever the case may be. You make the intention that you're going to receive exactly what you're going to get. Now, this is where it gets tough because once you've put out there, okay, I really like this guy or this girl or whoever, and I really want to have a relationship with them, or I want that perfect person to find me, whatever it is. Now you have to hold on to that belief. And this is where most people mess up. What they do is they plant the seed. They plant the seed. It's there. I'm going to receive what I'm going to receive. Then a day or two passes and lo and behold, they've dug the seed back up. I never get it. I don't deserve it. I'm unworthy. Who would want to marry me anyways? There's no real guys out here. You start to tell yourself and feed yourself these ideas of you cannot have what you truly want. And once your seed is dug up, you have to replant it again. And then you'll dig it up again. Then you'll plant it again. And then you'll dig it up. And you didn't give it time to grow. And that's where it gets tough. It's not digging up the seed. And we don't even realize how easy it is to dig the seed up. One day you're, you know, you're on cloud nine, you have faith, you believe that the person of your dreams is going to fall in love with you. But then the next day comes and you wake up empty in your bed and you see that there's no special person next to you and that nobody's texted you, nobody's called and you feel like you're not worthy again. Our 3D world has the ability to destroy everything that we've been looking for. It has the ability to um, stop your manifestation if you focus on it. We have to remember this one thing. The world that we see right now, everything that is going on in our life right now, be it our career, our family life, our social life, love life, whatever it is, our financial life too, let's throw that in there is all a manifestation of our past. So your 3D world right now is a past manifestation. So if you're struggling right now with being single, it was probably one of those seeds that you dug that you dug up. But this time you are going to plant that seed. And when you plant it, you're going to continue to water it. How do you do that? You're going to continue to give it sunlight. You're going to continue to watch it grow. You're going to vow that you will not dig up the seed. What does that mean? That means that every single time you get an irritating thought that this is not working, you immediately flip it around. And if you have to start affirming it out loud, I am, my special person is coming today. My special person loves me. They're madly in love with me. They want to marry me. They want to build a relationship with me. We have a healthy, happy relationship. If you have to turn the story around, do it immediately because you don't want to dig up your seed. That's what you do when the doubts start coming in. 
you have to, now this does require some work and it's not easy work, let me tell you. One of the things about it is that when that, once you plant that seed, you're going to go through a period of, there will be some moments of doubt. This even happens when we plant regular seeds. You may have that fear. You may have, oh, well, what if these, you know, how many will actually grow? And, you know, you have to go back to it and you have to say, you have to keep watering it, right? You, even though you're not sure, and sometimes seeds don't grow. Sometimes they, they're stuck under the ground. Sometimes they're dead, they're duds. That doesn't mean that your manifestation has to be. And you can't think of it like that. So when doubts start to creep in, you have to do some mental brain work. How can you catch yourself? Sometimes you don't catch yourself. But this is where the trick, this is the tricky part. This is where it can get a little difficult and it can get a little tough. What you have to do is you have to put your number one focus on not digging it up. You have to really, really watch your mental diet. That means monitoring your thoughts. So if you were, you know, if you planted the seed, special person is coming and then you cover it with dirt. Now, when those doubts, when you have those inklings, that urge to dig it up, you tell yourself, no, that means you have to monitor your thoughts. And this is difficult at first, but once you get the hang of the thoughts and you stop serving things that no longer serve you, you will start, it will start to become easier for you to keep watering that plant. So when special person crosses your mind or you start to feel lonely because you're still single, stop, stop and say, hey, I'm not single. My special person is on the way. Imagine if, okay, so I'm home, I'm home alone right now. Okay, maybe special person is at work. They're gonna be arriving soon. Maybe special person had to go out of town for a little while for a family gathering. I don't know, but special person is on their way. I'm not single. I'm getting get I'm getting married to my best friend. Tell yourself whatever stories you have to tell yourself over and over until you truly believe it because that is what manifestation is. Manifesting is all about believing that you have the ability to um have the life of your dreams. But one of the ways in which we learn we have to learn how to control manifesting. We're doing it all the time. We're manifesting probably every moment of the day. And Allah knows best. But you have to, as an individual, you have to learn to control your thoughts. And it may not just be special person. It may be things around self-confidence. Those times when you are feeling, you know, I know sometimes it happens to me. I get my hair done. I'm looking nice. I don't really wear makeup, but sometimes when I put it on, I look fabulous. Have on a nice clothes got some nice shoes, I have somewhere to go and I feel confident and I feel beautiful. And then the next day, hair might not be as beautiful as it was the day before. Got on regular clothes, feeling kind of drab, look in the mirror and like, hey, I'm not cute today. I don't feel beautiful today. And you just tell yourself, you have to catch those moments where you're picking at yourself and you're telling yourself what you don't have or what you can't have. And I know some days it's hard. You feel worthy. You feel like you deserve it. And the next thing you know, your emotions can change quickly. We're human. It happens. But we have to learn to control it. We should always be in that I am a bad chick, okay, mode. Or I am a, I am so amazing. I'm so hot. I am so fabulous. Whatever it is, okay? I am a hot guy. If if you're a guy watching, (laughs) listening to this, not watching, listening to my podcast, you have to really, you got to tell yourself this over and over. And guess what will happen? The universe will respond. God hears you. He's going to send the universe to bring you exactly what you want. He's going to create it for you and bring it to you the way that you dreamed that it would happen. So the only thing, so just to recap, When we have doubts, it is so important, so, so important that you don't dig up your seed. You allow the doubt, don't even allow it. Once it comes through, immediately change it. Plant that seed back. And even envision, as you're manifesting, I found this to, I'm I'm testing out a new method 
that came to my mind. Okay. Imagine you're planting the seed actually, and it's the special person and they're going to grow out of the ground and you're going to water them and you're promising not to dig it up. Do that with your manifestations. Pretend they're seeds. Practice taking care of them. Visualize. how Now, how are ways that we can strengthen when these thoughts and these fears come into our mind? What you can do is to remember to affirm, number one, like I said before, affirm it out loud. Say it out loud. Believe it. Number two, visualize. Visualize that special person arriving, that special person being there for you loving you, caring for you, providing for you the best love and relationship that they possibly can and you possibly can. Giving your 100% and being the better person, the better the best version actually is what I'm trying to say, the best version of yourself. Imagine that for yourself. And lastly, script it out. Script it out. Write out exactly what you want. These are ways that you can continue to water your your plant and you can continue to help it to grow. I hope this was of some guidance. Thank you for tuning in. And I love to hear what my message reaches. Make sure to, you can email me at selimmonique um, at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Celine underscore Monique. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day and f- watch my videos on YouTube. And if you know that somebody could benefit from this little conversation, be sure to share it. All right. Have a great day. Day. Peace and blessings. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. If you like what you heard, please make sure to subscribe to my podcast so you never miss an episode. You can also follow me on Instagram at Celine underscore Monique and Facebook and Twitter at Celine Monique. To join my Build Your Own Product Line workshop for exclusive merch or to contact me, visit www.celinemonique.com. And to become a part of my exclusive uh, private Facebook group, please make sure to contact me as well. Please feel free to share this podcast with others. Assalamu alaikum.